Hello, everybody. Welcome to Chin Fat. This episode, part two of the updates for the 2019 Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm going to be showing you some of the functions they've added in their audio layout here on their essential audio panel here. If you hit audio here for arrangement and arrange uh, your your windows to do sound mixing here, you've got this essential sound uh, panel, which is nothing which is not new to the 2019 uh, updates, but they have added some things to this that make it uh, actually quite, quite a significant improvement. So to play through this, we've got a scene of dialogue here maybe playing. I'm going to play through a little bit of this. We'll be finished here very soon, Mr. Parker. Uh, I'm very sorry for your loss. And in this dialogue here, notice the audio is recorded at a pretty low level. It's coming in a premiere at a, at a fairly low level. Especially if we're uh, mixing in a stereo environment, your dynamic range on your audio is basically negative 12 dB. So, uh, so your target volume for uh, especially dialogue, what kind of average listening dialogue should hit around negative 12. And this audio here is hitting around. We'll be finished here very soon. Around negative 30 to negative 34 there. So we're kind of aiming more for like negative 12 and just barely up above there. So uh, the way the essential audio panels work is once you select an audio uh, channel down in your down in your timeline here, you can go up to this area here and you're going to define that as dialogue. Now, some things that they've added in here, uh, there I had things like uh, loudness and EQ, uh, but they, they've added a couple things in here. They've added this repair and clarity, which is really, really nice. Uh, not only does this help you get your audio levels where you need it with uh, using the loudness key, uh, but it also helps clean up the noise as we play through this. Very soon, Mr. Parker. We can hear that ambient noise in the background. I would say if that's undesirable noise, we can use the, the repair and clarity to get rid of that, uh, to get rid of that noise. First of all, let's work with loudness. I'm gonna select loudness here. And under loudness, you have this auto match item here. And what the auto match is gonna do is it's automatically gonna match the clips to a standard, as it says here, a standard average loudness for dialogue. So I'm gonna hit auto match and notice the waveforms boosted way up there. It gained up my audio here. And now as we play through, We'll be finished here very soon, Mr. It's getting up around negative 12 to negative 6. And I, now that audio level tends to be a little too loud. Let's go through and play this. We'll be finished here very And it first boosts up around like negative 6. And that's 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 pretty loud there. So I'm going to hit uh, just like this. And just to adjust this, I did a pretty good job of adjusting of getting autoed. But I'm going to hit G for gain. And I'm going to go to negative uh, 4 and turn it down by about 4 decibels and see what we get. We'll be finished here very soon, Mr. Parker. I'm very sorry for your loss. So what I'm going to do here, if the audio comes in a little bit loud at the beginning, because here... We'll be finished here very soon. Around negative six is pretty loud. Uh, I'm very sorry for your But the rest of it hits around negative 12. So what we can actually do is we can mix this here a little bit. I'm going to uh, come down on my keyframes here, extend this, expand this a little bit so we can see a little bigger. I'm going to hit control click and click right about there and kind of turn it down at the beginning so that doesn't peak up very loud right there. We'll be finished here very soon, Mr. And we got it all around negative 12. So that did a pretty good job. So let's do a couple other things here um, to this audio file. I'm going to go to uh, repair and I'm going to check mark reduce noise. I don't have much issue with uh, the, the with rumbling like a low bass, but we do have some noise there. And you have the slider here. You can slide back and forth to have it be, do an auto. It's basically detecting the noise that's in the background. And it's going to be reducing. If you want to be more aggressive, just drag it to the right. If you want to be less aggressive, drag it to the left. Let's play through this and listen to it. We'll be finished here very soon, Mr. Parker. Uh, I'm very sorry for your loss. And this is really cleaning up that audio. It's got rid of a lot of the noise there. Uh, you Also, if you have like a hum in the background, if you're having a high pitch hum or a, or a lower pitch hum, you can uh, use the D hum. And then the DS here that will take away kind of the S noises, the little S hits on the mic. And you also have reduced reverb as well. This is a really awesome feature I found here. If you're getting a little bit of echo in the room, this is actually a pretty good, up until recently, I've not seen many uh, audio programs that could reduce reverb really well, but this actually does a pretty decent job. If you check mark that and you listen through, We'll be finished here very soon, Mr. Parker. That reduced, so they just didn't really have much reverb in it, so it was kind of aggressive to it. You can turn this down here a little bit, but um, but we really don't need it on this audio clip, in my opinion. We'll be finished here very soon, Mr. Parker. So I'm going to uncheck that, and we're going to move down to clarity. This is just to help get a little bit more clarity in, in, in the voice here. If we hit dynamics here, turn that on. Uh, you can hit reanalyze if you need to have it. Uh, it, it analyzes when you first check mark if you've kind of changed or copied and pasted this filter under another clip. You might need to do a reanalyze uh, to have it analyze, and uh, it will try to really clear up the voice here, make a clarity to the voice. We'll be finished here very soon, Mr. Parker. 
And now I can actually hear a little bit of the natural reverb that's in this room, but that is a really nice clean audio signal there. Moving down, we got EQ. If you want to take out kind of the low frequencies or the high frequencies of the clip, you've got some basically rumbling noise. You can, if you want to work on the EQ a bit here, you can check mark that and go down and you can do a subtle boost on the, on the male voice to bring out kind of the lower frequencies of a male voice. And we play through that. We'll be finished here very soon, Mr. Parker. And that's sounding really nice. Even this enhanced speech here, we can check mark that and add that tell that this is a male with a bass of your voice. We'll be finished here very soon, Mr. Parker. And just a few things is that making that really sound really, really good. Now down here, you also have a reverb if you want to add it. Uh, this is something that they had in an earlier uh, version of this uh, panel here, but you can check mark on the reverb and you can say, I want this to be kind of in a, if you get this so clean where it sounds too perfect and uh, you can go down and say, we want this to be a small dry room here and adds a little bit of reverb to it so it makes it sound like a natural house here. We'll be finished here very soon, Mr. Parker. Uh, I'm very sorry for your loss. So that's some really nice things to work on uh, dialogue that they have. I found that just uh, using this in a scene of dialogue has really made a big difference to cleaning up audio because kind of the goal with dialogue is to clean it up as much as possible, remove as many noises as possible, ambient noise and everything else. And then you add those sounds later on. You add the ambient noise and everything else back in. That's really where the updates have been added to is in the dialogue, in the dialogue column here. If you if you go to another clip, and uh, this is not ambient, this is uh, dialogue, but, but let's say, let's make this ambience here. Uh, these things are pretty much the same as they were, as they were before. I'm gonna do a little bit of cleanup on this, and then I'm gonna show you the next steps here to clean this up. But those are mainly the updates that they've added to uh, Premiere Pro is in the dialogue area of the Essential Sound Panel. Okay, so I've gone through this and done a little bit of a mix on it. I've done all the effect work on these files here. So everything's kind of uh, mixed for negative 12. And I've done the re uh, noise reduction and, other, and a few other things that you saw with the voice enhance. Uh, let's let's take a listen to this. So now you get is this really clean audio, even though there's some noise here. It's cleaned up that noise. We'll be finished here very soon, Mr. Parker. Uh, I'm very sorry for your loss. Thank you. Valerie had been sick for a long time. I'm I'm just glad she's finally at rest. So the audio now sounds nice and clean. We got some, um, and all the levels have been mixed and we've really cleaned up that audio. And now what you can do is that after you're done with dialogue, you can go through and add ambient noise and add music, whatever else, sound effects, and whatever else you need to uh, need to add. So that's really it for this, uh, for the updates on the uh, essential audio panel. I'm gonna let this play. I'm gonna add some ambient noise to this and then we're gonna, I'm gonna let up, and then I'll play this for the final clip on this, uh, on this tutorial. Thanks for watching. We'll be finished here very soon, Mr. Parker. Uh, I'm very sorry for your loss. Thank you. Valerie had been sick for a long time. I'm, I'm just glad she's finally at rest. I guess that's the way to look at things. Still, it must have been hard to wake up and... Yeah. Yeah. Well, again, we're just about done here. Let us know if there's anything we can do for you. Thank you, detective.